Yes, indeed. We are live on KEXP at home. My name is Larry Mizell Jr., host of the Afternoon Show here at KEXP, and I'm proud to say I'm here today with Teke Teke. How you doing, guys? Very good, thank you. How are you, Larry? I'm fantastic. Um, been loving what I heard from the new record, Shirushi, coming out uh, later this month. Is it this month? Or is it next month? It's May, May 7th. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next month. What is time, after all, during the pandemic? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. And you guys are a seven-piece band. Yes, sir. Seven-piece band. Um, yeah. Right on. Yeah, uh, real quick, if you'd introduce yourselves for everybody. Of course, I'm uh, Serge Nakoshi Pelsier. And um, Maria Kuroki. Right on. Mm-hmm. How are you guys, how have you been recording, meeting, jamming, rehearsing during all of these, uh, during the pandemic? Oh, well, um, it's been changing all the time, of course, with, uh, you know, the rules with the the city or even the province here uh, in Quebec, in Montreal. Uh, So, but we've been seeing each other on and off, trying to keep you know, the connection going, of course, because with the album coming out, we want to feel like, you know, it's happening and we're still connected and everything. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Um, let's take it back to the beginning. Um, you guys all got together um, in the project to honor a legendary Japanese guitarist. Is that yes. right? Yes, You want that's to tell right. me about him? Of course. Um, Takeshi Terauchi is the name. He also goes by Terry a lot of times. Um, did you know of him, Larry? I did not before no, uh, doing no, research. No, yeah, yeah. He's, um, I don't know, he must be like 80 years old now. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. He's, he's like a, a legend of, um, of the surf guitar okay. in Japan uh, from the 60s, uh, 70s, uh, but he's still at it today. Uh, apparently he's uh, he's still healthy and uh, playing shows and everything. Uh, but yeah, he's um, he's like a, a figure uh, for the whole uh, garage rock, surf rock scene uh, from Japan in the '60s. Uh, yeah. Well, I definitely yeah. get some of that sound through what you're doing. The amazing um, blend of of vintage and modern sounds. Uh, in the Teke Teke sound. And the name itself, it's like a, a abbreviation of his name, but it's also a reference to, to uh, urban legend, to a ghost story. It's funny that you say that because I just realized that yesterday. Yeah. It's the two T's. Right. right? You remember? I told you. Ah, yes. mm-hmm. um, but yeah, Teke Teke is an onomatopoeia mm-hmm. for the, the surf sound. But okay. Teke 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 teke. Right? Oh wow! Okay. So yeah, there's there's that there's that and there's um it's also a, a sort of um expression or a slang for um for teenage uh, surfers in Japan when they want to call out uh, someone who's like dressing up as a surfer but is not really surfing like a uh, poser. A poser, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So take it, take it. And then there's a whole urban legend that. You know, you'll probably find first when you do a, a teke teke Google search, uh, which is like a ghost uh, story, but it doesn't have anything to do with uh, with us. Gotcha. I thought that was interesting, though, because uh, you've got the song Barbara on the new record. Yes. Great song. And that's kind of a Thank ghost you. story, too. It is. Yeah. 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 You want to talk about, yeah, we, about I don't know. We love we love ghosts, but uh, but podcast ticket ticket. We try to say that no, it's not coming from that. Uh, yeah, that because urban legend is a little very powerful, gory, gory side. Whereas so. Babara is more um, well inspired by the Zashikiwadashi, which is more like a, a childish um, mm-hmm. ghost and and uh, is not uh, there to cause any trouble or just just you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah, but I love uh, it. Yeah, always yokai is something the material that uh, it includes uh, uh, funny, positive, but dark together. 
So that's very interesting. I yeah, think a, a little a, lighter than than the teke teke. Mm. Yeah, I like how you're yeah. countering the vibe of, of of that story with another one that you wrote. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, the the true story that happened to our guitarist was uh, I don't know, just made us <laughs> laugh. <laughs> we had to do something with it, yeah. and of course. Maya is the one who takes all the different themes and, and you know, turns everything into a, a crazy song with her lyrics and everything. No, but uh, when, I, when I hear all the song, uh, the composition, uh, mostly it, it, it all from uh, Serge, and uh, when I hear the sound and it just include the image, so I try to explain this feeling with the, the story uh yeah so it's coming from that there. Mm. right on yeah. well let's get into the session that you guys recorded uh at home for kexp mm -hmm. um so you can let the people hear the sounds of tech yes. tech <laughs> live on kxp at home
Yes, indeed. We are live at home on KEXP. I'm here with Serge and Maya from Teke Teke. What a great session. Thank you guys for recording. Fantastic. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's a real honor to be part of uh, those sessions, really. Mm-hmm. Right on. Look yeah. forward to seeing you in this room, hopefully, sometime in the future when touring is a thing. That would be nice. <laughs> you got to be missing moving around, being on the road. Yes, absolutely. But at the same time, we can't complain because, you know, if we compare Ticket Ticket to other bands, um, like some friends we know uh, that have like 
a whole tour was canceled and everything. We were just kind of getting ready for the album to come out, so mm -hmm. we didn't have anything, um, uh, we didn't have many shows canceled or anything like that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. we're kind of lucky. The timing was okay for us, you know, preparing for the album sure. release. Mm -hmm. Right on. And you guys are in Montreal. I feel like I've I've been interviewing some great artists from from your city um, yeah. recently. Um, what's the scene like these days there? Well, how's it feel, and how do you fit into it? Wow, the scene. I mean, I would maybe talk about the scene prior to uh, COVID. Sure. sure. Because yeah. it's with COVID, it's almost like you know everything's dead, or you know, there's not much life. But to me. Because I, I grew up in Montreal and in and out of Montreal and around Montreal. Um, you know, of course, people will talk about uh, certain bands that, you know, got bigger than others. Or, but to me, there was always a, a very, very interesting and very rich scene in Montreal, very diverse and lots of different influence. So we feel like, well, we're hoping we can include ourselves in, in that scene, uh, meaning that we're just a big mix of a lot of things, a lot of different backgrounds and cultures. And so yeah, that's how I see the scene in Montreal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right on. I feel like there's such diversity of, of, of vibration just in, in the music you guys are making. It's so exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a, you said it, it's a seven piece, you know, so uh, it's a lot of people um, and and it's a lot of very different people. So like, I mean, different in, in like everybody's um, individual baggage uh, of just musically, but also like culturally and, you know, me being, you know, born in Japan, but I grew up here. Um, I have Japanese. Yuki is Japanese too. Uh, Hide is also half uh, French, half uh, Japanese. Mishka, who's a half Ukrainian, half Russian. And then we have the other two, um, Etienne and Yang, uh, they're from here, from uh, Quebec. Uh, Etienne's actually from the West Coast, though, from, from BC. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, for, for those reasons, um, and for everything that, that, you know, when we played that first show as a tribute to Takeshi, it, it was, uh, well, first of all, Maya wasn't in the band yet. Okay. Uh, so it was instrumental. She was in the audience. I was mm. dancing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But we knew her already. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just what happened that night with that group of people and what everybody's bringing, different influences, uh, it's what made us want to, you know, take this further and make it like a, a real legit band. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long did you operate as just an instrumental unit before Maya joined up? Just for that one show. <laughs> oh, right on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because then uh, for that second show, um, we well, we wanted to keep playing those uh, covers, but we wanted to expand and and play other songs from other artists from that same era. And so for that, we needed a singer. And so Maya joined. As a guest. Uh, yeah, as yeah. a guest. And then from the third show on, it was all, uh, you know, a seven piece, half instrumental. We, we keep playing some instrumentals sometimes, but, um, but of course we're more excited now to play our own music. And that was the whole point. Uh, after like three, four shows, we were like, wow, we got to write our own stuff. Yeah. And Shirushi, that's, is that the full length debut album? It is. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we have, uh, we released an EP, uh, in 2018 called Jikaku with four songs, two covers and two originals. And, uh, so yeah, this is our first, uh, full length album. What did you were you trying to do anything different than what you were doing on the EP or what you'd been doing live up until then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jikaku, the EP was kind of like just us going in the studio and finding out if we can do that, if we can record, you know. And um, and it worked. 
it was a great uh, experiment. So for for the first full length, we we actually worked a lot on on uh, the pre production, and um, and yeah, the the music we just uh, kind of like I I came up with most of the ideas, most of the compositions, but then with the band we just sort of like kind of destroyed everything and put the pieces back together, and then we had like different different songs going into the studio. And then again in the studio, we, we let ourselves uh, be, uh, you know, free enough to like still kind of mess with the songs. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the process for us. I love it. The songs feel so free and just gigantic. Tidal wave, you know, like there's ah, some, yeah, thank you. absolutely. But uh, let's get into more of it. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Fantastic session from Tech 8 Tech 8 live on KEXP at home.
live on KXP at home with Teke Teke. My name is Larry Mizell Jr., Serge, Maya. Thank you guys so much for recording that. Uh, great you. session. I'm really loving the sound on uh, what is coming from your debut album, Sarushi, coming out next month on Kill Rock Stars. Thank you. That yeah. is the work of Seth Manchester at Machines with Magnets, um, who we worked with in uh, Rhode Island. Hello, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> and also Heather Cadry, who mastered. And our friends in Montreal at Mixart Studio, Nick. Yeah, lots of good people who participated on the record. So, yeah. A whole family kind of births these things, you know? That, that, yeah. that sometimes people never see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so you guys are coming out next month on Kill Rock Stars. I know you'd released a single on Sub Pop. That's a real strong Northwest connection. Um, <laughs> you guys have yeah. any strong connection in Northwest rock? I mean, personally, I grew up listening to Sub Pop and KRS artists. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You know, and uh, a lot of the bands from the West Coast. And um, so, yeah, I mean, for me, it's uh, it's like uh, it's like a dream scenario, you know, it's uh, yeah. And also just knowing uh, how, you know, the, those people are, they, it feels like a family, you know, it's like uh, it's all on the other side, but it feels very close somehow. Yeah. And I feel like Seattle and Montreal have a lot in common, it's just a vibe, and don't you think? I've only briefly been to Montreal. I was on <laughs> tour, uh, and I was just there for the night. So I wish I'd gotten ah. to see more of the city. Yeah. That's that's well, high yeah. on my list. You'll come back uh, sometime. Absolutely. You'll let us know. <laughs> Trust it. I will let you know. I'll check in for sure. Yeah. Have you guys spent much time out here? Well, have you been no. to Seattle? No. Not yet. You want you want to hear a funny story? Love to. So, um, I actually have been in the KXP studio about really? just before starting this band Teke Teke. Really? I was there with this guy Bugat, who's okay. a Latino rapper uh, and well, the drummer, Jan, uh, Teke Teke's drummer and trombone player, Etienne, and I were uh, hired musicians to, on tour with Bougat. And so we were touring on the West Coast and L.A. And, and we stopped at KXP and there's actually a session. <laughs> and I'm saying this because it's during that tour that we decided and we started jamming some Terauchi uh, songs while sound checking for Bougat. And it's coming back from that trip that we actually started um, rehearsing and, um, you know, for, for that first show that we did. So there's a, there's a connection with KXP. I love it. Yeah. That's fantastic. You guys are jamming on it the whole time yeah. Yeah, on the West yeah, Coast, yeah. coming through the KXP studios. Yeah. And we, we spent a few days uh, in Seattle and, you know, loved it. Right on. Well, look forward to seeing you here in the future. Um, once wait. everything opens back up, um, mm -hmm. thank you again for recording a fantastic session. And uh, thank uh, you. congratulations yeah, on the pleasure. album. Yeah, for sure. So what's next for Teke Teke? What's next? Uh, uh, next album. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys start to work on it? Well, because uh, this one was recorded almost two years ago. Ah, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so, um, yeah, we have we have ideas for the next one and how we, we want to approach it, who we want we'd love to work with, and things like that. So, so we're thinking about that, and we're making uh, some you know fun little videos and trying to create some content for the album. DIY. Mm -hmm. DIY. But, yeah. This is COVID season. It was the perfect for us to 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 just uh, try thing that what we never did. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And being even more creative and yeah, 
try stuff and try to do things ourselves. So, For sure. Yeah, you got to get out fun. of the box during this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why we're doing these the way that we are. And uh, we've gotten, we've done such fantastic sessions, um, even though we yeah. can't, you know, be in the same room together. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> there's some blessing to it, at least yeah, in that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right on. Well, again, I look forward to seeing you here. Thank you so much for this session. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Larry. Right Thank on. you, KXP. Much love. Teke Teke live on KXP yeah. at home. My name is Larry Mizell Jr. Thank you much. Discover new music at kexp.org.